Welcome to Snowden Town. Ah! The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. It was the box? Yeah. No, I'm actually good. Oh, you're so cute! Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Um. You can eat it twice. A bicycle? A butt. Oh, like a popsicle, but a bicycle. So it's two of them. So it's like two of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, a decent amount of money. Mm -hmm. Buy a cinnamon bun. A manly bandana. It has abs on it. I have a tough glove. Maybe I'll get two of them? No. Plus two attack. Yeah, I don't attack. I just want defense. Yeah. And then maybe I can... Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but if I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Fair enough. Say hello. Hiya! Welcome to Snowden. Can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food. The library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they lacked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or you can burrow under the door, just forget about it. I bet we'll be able to get in there somehow. Life is the same as usual little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Cool. Bye. Come again. I will. Mm, a cute little snow bunny. What is this? What the shit? This town is huge. It's locked from the inside. It's locked. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Aw, oh, look inside. Yes, it's empty. No, Papyrus, I love you. <gasps> look at all these cute animals. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. I didn't even look. Didn't even notice. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time, but look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? You all know. How do you know all these things? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. What? While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. You're right. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, 
are cool as heck. <laughs> when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kinda sick of writing this. Because they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, uh, let's end the chapter right there. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swampland, and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Oh my god, guys. What if Asgore isn't a monster at all? What if Asgore is a human? Because they're like, oh, our souls are made out of friendship and love and stuff. And I'm like, aw. But like, what if they're terrified of me and they like want to trap me and stuff because they think that I'm evil like Asgore is? Hey, buddies. Oops. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. Aww. <gasps> a bear! This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Oh my god. <gasps> I met you guys before. Better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Cause that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and affection. I met all these puppies before. Thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. Makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Don't do it, dude. These dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Gross. I'd love to try it sometime. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help, I want new drinks and hot ah, dudes. Mm -hmm. Capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Mm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip into their onto their butts. Jukebox is broke. Ah. Oh, I can't get back there. Hi, barkeep. Grillbees says that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Fair enough. So I talk to this dog. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Puppy jokes. Good puppy jokes. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh, stop! Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. I agree. As a frequent bun bun butt toucher, I agree. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the undersnow. They're efficiently laid out. 
That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. What? Why? Because she's a bunny walking a bunny? Oops. Oh, look, it's bun buns with bun buns. I don't get it. I can't go up there. Can I go behind the desk? No. Welcome to Snowden. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Is there a reason to stay? Well, feel free to come back anytime. I'm wondering if something happens in the game. If you sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna stay. Cause I'm obviously not staying to get my health back. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. You look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous, this game. Hmm. Oh, you guys want to see what the library said? I didn't pay attention either. It says Librarby. <laughs> Good. Good shit. Still can't get in there. What's up north? Let's play monsters and humans. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? Oh, it's a family of rocks. Ah, oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 All right, fine. You're not gonna answer the door, that's fine. What? Hey, beefcake, what you doing? What you doing out here all alone? You want, you need to help or? Ring, ring. Hello, can I speak to? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Wow, oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong. Click. The shit? Yo, but Wolf, for real. I know I'm underage, but... I'll grow up. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't know what the point of that was! I don't know what the point of that was! Uh-oh. Human! Allow me to tell you about some uh, complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think that you are cool. Those feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, you lonely human. Worry not. 
You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you, and then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Oh. But he wants to be our friend. He wants to be our friend, though. Look at this schmuck. So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I am a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Um. <laughs> I mean, I can make spaghetti. We can be pasta lovers together. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later after I capture you. What a weak move. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later after I capture you. He's thinking about what to cook for his date. Uh He likes to say nyeh he We knew that. He dabs some bone cologne behind his ears. Bone cologne. You flirt, but to no avail. It seems acting won't escalate this battle. Hmm. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack! <gasps> You're blue now. That's my attack! You're blue now! Oh, man. So now I have to hop over stuff? That sucks. I wonder what I should wear. Shit! Papyrus dabs MIT or MTT brand anime powder behind his ears. What? I, yeah, I am. Power stabs. Hmm. Anime powder. Man, you know how to get a girl. <laughs> Fuck. He's too busy fighting to flirt back. What? I'm not thinking about our date! Ah! Oof. Ours. Hmm. Do I insult him now? I don't want to.
No. Oh god. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep sparing you. Don't make me use my special attack! Pyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. I can almost taste my future popularity. Oh man, what the shit? He's preparing a bone attack. <gasps> Remy Quantock! I don't know if I said your name right, but welcome. Thank you for becoming a Pareto. Thank you for supporting the community. Thank you for just being generally awesome. I hope you have a fantastic day and enjoy the stream. I'm going to use an item. Because, my goodness. Let's get these Cinnabons going. Oh, I need to wear the mandana. I didn't put it on. Like a big ol' patoot. Whew. He's trying really hard to play it cool. Unparalleled Spaghettor! Whew. Whew. He's considering his options. Undyne will be really proud of me. Oh god, I did that jump too early. He's rattling his bones. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Whew. He's cackling. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. No, no, no! He remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. I'll have lots of admirers, but... He's preparing a bone attack! Will anyone like me as sincerely as you do? We're meant to be together! Oh, God. Trying hard to play it cool. Just keep sparing him. Someone like you is really rare. He whispers. <laughs> and dating might be kind of hard. Whispers, yeah, heh, heh. Stop sparing him. But it's changing. He's changed, like, his, his tune is changing because he's like, I'm gonna be really popular. I don't even need you. And the more that I spare him, the more he's like, but, but you're really pretty and, and we both like spaghetti a lot. And, oh, oh, oh. We do both like spaghetti. A lot. After you are captured and sent away. Ah! Sorry. He's trying hard to play it cool. You need a half of the bicycle and you recover 11 HP. Who cares? I give up. Uh. Rattling his bones. Give up or face my special attack! What is your special attack, honey bunny? He's rattling his bones. Man, I just keep getting hit. Very soon I will use my special attack!
not too long and I I will use it. I'll use my special attack. Oops. Shoot. Shoot. Ah. Man. Getting my ass handed to me. This is your last chance. Uh, uh, ah! Doing it, nailing it. Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Mm. Oh well, I'll, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Getting ready for a regular attack. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> Tartaria just subscribed! Thank you so much for becoming a Pareto and joining the community and being generally awesome. I hope that you're enjoying the stream so far, and I hope that you have a lovely day. <laughs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Ah! Ah! That's not normal! This isn't normal! This isn't normal! Babe! Babe, no! Babe, no! Babe, no! Babe! Babe, no! no! Oh my god. How did I clear it? Oh god. I'm scared. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. He's sparing you. Yay, we did it! No! <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed at me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. <laughs> what should you say? <laughs> what a loser. Let's be friends. R really? You want to be friends with, with me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Oh wow, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll, I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern, and then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters, he is. Well... He's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have a date. Oh, where are you going? The king. Yes. I see you guys using that using that rip skeleton. He's so in love with us. I wanna but I wanna go hit on that wolf man. 
Great A voice acting. I'm so sorry. So you came back to have a date. You must be really serious about this. Uh, I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. We're going on a date. I'm like five. <laughs> My house! Oh my goodness. What is going on in there? That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No. Classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Boning? The door is locked. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode, don't judge. Hold on. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock! Okay. Don't put it back down, move it! Okay. You moved it two inches! Move it to your room! Okay. And don't bring it back! Okay. It's still here! Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Ah, oh, forget it! Increase the height of my sink, and now I can fit more bones under it. Ow, oh, puppy! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses! Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. Let's go in. Let's go in. Do whatever people do when they date. Go inside, sure. Cool room, Bo. Hey! Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit follow account. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There are no skeletons inside my closet. <laughs> Except me sometimes. <laughs> Look in the closet? Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Nyah! Nyah! Ah, yes. Action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. Now do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yes, that's right. Santa! That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway, wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Sure. Oh 
Okay, dating start. What are we doing? Wait, what? Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before, but don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one, uh, press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. What? I feel so informed. What the shit is this? I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <clears throat> Human, I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. <laughs> I can't say no, he's so precious. <laughs> Really? Wow! Oh! I guess that means it's time for part three! Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning! Uh... Yep. <laughs> no! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, your dating power... ...is through the roof! Yeah. 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 Don't think you've bested me yet! I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will! I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing! In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? I love it. No! A genuine compliment! Oh my god. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect with Z. Human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah. <laughs> well then, you found my secret! I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present j just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong! This ain't any plain old pasta! This is artisan's work! Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus! Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go on any further! And eating it. You take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking, and by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Oh god, it's like going beyond. Human, it's clear now. You are madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings! It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus, I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot, human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. 
I feel just the same as before, and instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion, with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? Ugh. No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I... I will help you through these trying times. I, I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, it's not true at all, but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> In the end, we didn't have to bang a skeleton. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Help. So many sexy robots. The bookshelf is filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. Can I go on the internet? Computers, internet browser is open to a social media site. It's a box of bones. It's a race car bed, neatly made. I just wanted to see if I could take anything. We need a papyrus emote? I mean, the rip skeleton is basically him. <laughs> Wait, we already did all this. There we go. Uh, oh, I can walk here. Cool. What's all this? Oh, hi guys. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Undyne? Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over again. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. What's the last thing it heard? That's what I want to know. Oh. Ooh, I need to get up and move around a little bit. So everybody go, go pee. Go pee or have a sandwich, I don't know. I just, I just, I just need to like get up and stretch. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 